Number 86. The mercury content of a steam was believed to be above the minimum considered safe one part per billion, or PBB, by weight. An analysis indicated that the concentration was 0.68 parts per billion. What quantity of mercury in grams was present in 15.0 liters of the water and the density of which was 0.998 grams per milliliter? And they give us a nice formula of 1 ppb mercury equals 1 nanogram over mercury divided by 1 gram of water. So we're probably going to need this formula at some point, but let's just see what's up. So the question is, what quantity of mercury in grams do we need? Okay, so we're looking for a gram amount. Now, if I'm looking at this formula here, I can see that I have nanograms of Hg. So I'm definitely going to be using this in some form. But what do I need in this formula? I need to know how many grams of water I have. Now, they give us a lot of information of the water, right? They say that it's present in 15 liters of the water. So that's the volume of the water, which has a density of the 0.998 grams per liter. So that's the density. So what can we find out if we know a volume for water and a density of water? You guessed it. The first thing we got to do is find the mass by using the density formula. Remember that density formula, right? D equals M over V. Density equals mass divided by volume. Now, let's just inspect here. They gave us a density of grams per milliliter. So this, and I'll just put that this is density, they gave it to us in grams per milliliter, which means that the mass units have to be the same. So the mass has to be in grams and the volume has to be in milliliters. However, the volume that they gave us was in 15.0 liters. So I have to first convert the 15.0 liters into milliliters to use it into the formula. So 15.0 liters times by our ratio, you guys should know this by now, liters on the bottom, milliliters up top. What is the conversion between mils and liters? You got it, right? A thousand milliliters equals one liter. So a thousand equals one liter. So liters cancel out. You times it by a thousand, you'll basically get 1.5 times 10, or I should keep the same number of sig figs. So it's 1.50 because this zero counts. 1.50 times 10 to the, what do we got? Let's see, 15 times 1,000. 1 1.50 times 10 to the fourth, one, two, three, four. Okay, milliliters. So now we have that volume and we have 0 0.998 grams per mil. That's our density. So we could find out the mass, which is M. So D, equals m over v. So we got 0 0.998 equals x over 1.50 times 10 to the fourth. This is cross multiplication, right? This times this, because technically this number is over 1. So x, which is the mass, would be just the 1.50 times 10 to the fourth times 0 0.00, oh sorry, 0.998. And you get 1.497 times 10 to the fourth, I believe. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this is now in grams. Now, if we want to do sig figs here, we would only need three sig figs. So 1, 2, and 3. The 7, though, however, would round the 9 into a 10. So that would make this a 5, right? So 1.50 times 10 to the 4th grams. Okay, so we're going to have to use this. And now this is grams of the water. Okay, now going back to our handy-dandy formula, which was over here. Now they're just saying that, you know, 1... PPB, so one parts per billion, is equal to one nanogram of Hg per one gram of water. But let's just strip away the ones here because we're not working with ones. We have, you know, crazy numbers like this mass. 
So I'm just going to write a direct formula. I'm just going to say parts per billion ppb of mercury is equal to the nanograms of mercury divided by the grams of water. I just stripped away the ones because we got to plug in our numbers. So we just found out the grams of mercury. That's 1.50 times 10 to the fourth grams. And they told us that the concentration of this, you know, uh, steam was 0.6 ppb, parts per billion. So we know this number, 0 0.68. And now I can solve for the nanograms. That's going to be classified as your x. So 0 0.68 equals x over 1.50 times 10 to the fourth. This is another cross multiplication. This equals this because technically this is over 1, right? So x, which is nanograms of uh, mercury, would just be 1.50 times 10 to the 4th times 0.68. So you get 1.02. 1.02 times 10 to the, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's in nanograms of HD. So now they wanted to know what the quantity of mercury was in grams. So now here's just a conversion. We got to convert from nanograms to grams. And that's another SI unit conversion. So I'm going to put it up top here. Actually, I think I could squeeze this in down here. Let me just pull this up a little bit. Okay. So I got 1.02 times 10 to the fourth nanograms. We don't want nanograms anymore. You times that by a ratio, and that goes on the bottom. Grams goes up on the top. What's the conversion between nanograms and grams? One nanogram equals 10 to the negative ninth. You could think of nano n, 9n, but that's your conversion. Guys, memorize your conversions. So we got 10 to the negative ninth and one nanogram. Nanograms cancel. And all we got to do is just multiply those two together. So this times 10 to the negative ninth is 1.02 times 10 to the negative fifth grams. And that's how many grams are present. 1.02 times 10 to the negative fifth grams of Hg. Box that answer off. That's the answer to this problem. So guys, I hope this, uh, you know, this hope helped you out. This one was kind of crazy because we had to do density, we had to convert, we had to use a formula that we'd never used before. So hopefully this made, you know, a little bit more sense. And if it did, click that like button. Let us know that we're doing our job right. Um, I'm so glad you guys are, you know, at number 86. Keep going. We're almost there. I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.